in order to explain to you why Costa Rica is our favorite place, I need to tell you a couple of quick stories. Going back to 1995, the year that I uh, married my wife, Tina, I asked her a question. You see, I like goal setting. So I asked her a question. I said, what is it you want? We're going to make some goals. And without any hesitation, she said, I want to travel. I said, all right, let's travel. So we started to save up some money. And when our daughter was three years old, around 1998, we took a trip to the Caribbean. That, that was our second trip besides our honeymoon. And then when our daughter was five, a couple of years later, we started taking her on these winter getaway trips. Now, we always looked for resorts and packages through the travel agency that had kids stay and fly for free. And it always worked out. So we went to Mexico and, uh, when Danielle was five, and we had a blast. And uh, while we were doing this, we turned, we, I mean, she had so many wonderful experiences. And we'd have a lot of fun. We, For instance, we'd go to the airport, and in the boarding section where the plane was going to board, there was other people getting on the same plane. I would ask Danielle, I'd say, let's find some friends for you. She's an only child. So I would spot a family. I'd go, look, that that girl, she's about your age. Why don't you go say hi to her? And she would. And she'd make these amazing friendships. So that was something that she got to experience, as well as the experiences and, and mind-expanding experiences of heading into different countries, which I feel is very important for uh, young children. So in, uh, when Danielle was six, we went to Jamaica, man. And then uh, the next year, we went to Cuba. Now, before I tell you about the Cuba story, I have to exp explain one little side story to the story. I thought this was really cool, what we were doing. So I told Tina, I said, wouldn't it be cool if we found a country where we can go back to every year, get to know the lay of the land, get to know the culture, get to know the locals. I just thought that was a wonderful idea. And she didn't agree with me. She said, no, I want to go to a different country every year. I'm like, all right, that's cool. I'm not going to argue. She likes variety. She loves to travel. So next year, that all changed. In when Danielle was seven years old, we went to Cuba and we froze. Never go to Cuba in January. There was a cold front that came down through Florida and all the way into Cuba and we froze. It was miserable. Well, we had a good time regardless, but yeah, that wasn't fun. And uh, Tina said, never again. That's never going to happen again. So she did some research and she said, next year we're going to go to Costa Rica. And she booked out a... Um, resort and Danielle was eight, eight years old. We went to Costa Rica. So here's what happened. The next year she said, she came up to me, she says, we're going back to Costa Rica. And I was like, oh, what happened to this thing with variety? Okay, no, there's a side story to this too. Well, actually, I'll get to that in a second. I, I'll tell you about our first trip to Costa Rica and then the side story. It's got to do with Manzanillo, Mexico. So Danielle was eight. We go to Costa Rica. Uh, the main reason we went there was because of Cuba and freezing our butts off on the beach. And the weather and plus stuff that we heard about Costa Rica was so promising that we decided to go there. And then that same winter... We photographed a wedding in Manzanillo, Mexico. And the bride had a cousin who had been living in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. Yeah, no, this was after we had gone to Costa Rica. So we'd already had our, our, our first ever trip to Costa Rica. We stayed at a resort. By the way, that was the last time we ever stayed at a resort. So I do not recommend resort living if you're going to go to Costa Rica. And I'm going to produce another video on that and explain to you why. So we met this girl who was a cousin to the bride at the wedding in Manzanillo, Mexico, and she had flown all the way up from Tamarindo, Costa Rica. And she told us about Tamarindo. It was just a fluke encounter. And so Tina said, well, we're going back to Costa Rica. 
and uh, we went to Tamarindo. And Tamarindo, from that point on, became our go-to place. And that was in 2005, was our first visit to Tamarindo. We've gone back every year, and in 2011, we bought a place down there. And, uh, yeah, it's like our second home, possibly our permanent home. But Costa Rica, to explain to you why Costa Rica became the place that she wanted to go back to again, uh, it's hard to explain. Besides the weather and the food, there's a vibe. There's just something about it. The people are super nice. I've often, well, I don't know if it's fair or not, but I've often said they're a lot like Canadians. Canadians are pretty polite, but they're like the, uh, you know, the uh, tropics version of Canadians. They, they, like to, they like to work hard. They like to party hard. And they're all about family as well. And they're just really, really fun-loving, easygoing people. They're very, very easygoing, very, very friendly. And when we went to uh, Tamarindo, the beach is so laid back. There's such a mixture of people from students to surfers to hippies to retired folks to locals to people from Brazil and Colombia and all over the world people from all over and dogs all over the beach and there's just this cool laid back eclectic vibe that's why in a sense we do not recommend going to a resort because you miss all that but again i'll talk about that in another day so it's hard to pinpoint exactly why costa rica this much i can say it was important enough that we made it our second home and invested in a place there, and we go back every year, excluding all other options. So Tina's idea of, no, I want to go back to, a, I want to go to a new country every year, that became no more a thing. And I can tell you this much as well, that lady, young lady, who was the bride's cousin that we met in Manzanillo, Mexico, her story was a story that I've heard of and seen experience with many others especially with women women love costa rica and i say this all the time so what happened to her was when we met her she had been in tamarindo about a year she had gone down there on a trip came back to toronto she was working downtown toronto i believe in the eaton center and she was crying she's, she's like ah, i hate it here and so she quit her job sold everything and moved and i've often said that Tamarindo or Costa Rica has that allure. It has that appeal. Everybody I talk to wants to go back. I hear it over and over and over again. And that's what happened to my wife. That's what happened to me. That's what happened to our daughter. We wanted to go back and we did go back. And I warn people all the time. I go, if people who are interested in going to Costa Rica but never have been, I say, look, I'm just going to warn you, you're going to want to go back. It's a thing. Everybody wants to go back because everybody loves Costa Rica. All right. That is my story. Thank you. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comment. And do subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. And uh, tell us your uh, experiences with Costa Rica. What brought you there and what keeps bringing you back. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.